Chemflix, balancing half reactions. Half reactions are often specified as taking place in acid solution or base solution. Here are the steps to follow to balance a half reaction in acid solution. First, balance atoms other than hydrogen or oxygen. For this, use inspection and insert coefficients as necessary. Next, balance oxygen atoms. This is done by adding a water molecule for each oxygen atom required on the side that has less oxygen atoms. The next step is to balance hydrogen atoms. Add up all the hydrogen atoms on each side and on the side with less hydrogen atoms add an H plus for each hydrogen needed. Now you need to balance the charge. Determine the net charge on each side and to the side which is more positive, add an electron for each negative charge required. The net charge on both sides should now be equal. These steps will become much more clear as you go through the following examples. You are asked to balance the half reaction in which chlorate, ClO3-, reacts to form chloride, Cl-, in acid solution. The equation is spread out to leave room for species that need to be added. Start by balancing atoms other than hydrogen or oxygen. In this case it is chlorine atoms. There is one chlorine atom on both sides so chlorine is balanced already. The next step is to balance oxygen atoms. Looking on the left side you can see there are three oxygen atoms in the ClO3- ion. On the right side, there are no oxygen atoms present yet. You must add three oxygen atoms to the right side. This is done by adding three molecules of water to the right side. There are now three oxygen atoms on both sides. The next step is to balance hydrogen atoms. There are no hydrogen atoms on the left side. Looking on the right side, you can see there are three molecules of water, which contain three times two, or six hydrogen atoms. Six hydrogen atoms must be added to the left side. This is accomplished by adding six H plus ions to the left side. There are now six hydrogen atoms on both sides. The final step is to balance the net charge using electrons. The ClO3- has a negative 1 charge and the 6 H pluses have a positive 6 charge. The net charge on the left side is negative 1 plus 6 or positive 5. Looking on the right side, the Cl- has a charge of negative 1 and the water has a charge of 0. The net charge on the right side is negative 1 plus 0, which is negative 1. The more positive side is the left side, with a net charge of positive 5. In order to make the net charge on the left equal to negative 1, you must add a negative 6 charge to the left. This is done by adding 6 electrons. Comparing the net charges on both sides, you can see that both sides have a net charge of negative 1, so the charge is balanced. The half reaction is now balanced. It's always a good idea to check that all atoms and the net charge is balanced at this point. Example 2 is more complex. You are asked to balance the half reaction in which As2S3 forms H2AsO4- minus and a sulfate ion, SO4-. Minus. This is a fairly long equation, so to optimize it for a small video screen, it is split into two lines with the reactants on the top line and the products on the bottom line. If you were doing this on paper you would not have to split the equation like this. Start by balancing atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. There are two arsenic atoms on the left side and one arsenic atom on the right side. A coefficient of 2 is written before the H2ASO4- minus to make the right side have two arsenic atoms. Going back to the left side, there are three sulfur atoms. The right side has one sulfur atom. 
on the SO4 2 minus. A coefficient of 3 is written on the sulfate ion. Now there are three sulfur atoms on both sides. The next step is to balance the oxygen atoms. Notice there are no oxygen atoms on the left side. Looking at the right side, two H2ASO4- ions contain a total of two times four, or eight, oxygen atoms. Three SO4-2- ions have a total of three times four, or twelve, oxygen atoms. So the right side has a grand total of 8 plus 12, or 20 oxygen atoms. So you need to add 20 oxygen atoms to the left side. This is done by adding 20 molecules of water. Next you need to balance the hydrogen atoms using H+. Looking on the left side, 20 water molecules have a total of 20 times 2 equals 40 hydrogen atoms. On the right side, there are 2 times 2, which is 4 hydrogen atoms. There are none in the sulfate ion. In order to balance the hydrogen atoms, you must add 36 hydrogen atoms to the right side. This is done by adding 36 H plus ions. So now, there is a grand total of 40 hydrogen atoms on both sides of the equation. The next step is to balance charge using electrons. On the left side, the net charge is zero. On the right side, H2ASO4- ions have a charge of negative two. And three SO4-2- ions have a charge of three times negative two, or negative six. And 36 H plus ions have a charge of positive 36. The net charge on the right side is negative 8 plus 36, which is positive 28. In order to give the right side a net charge of 0, like the left side, you need to add a charge of negative 28. This is done by adding 28 electrons. The right side now has a net charge of positive 28, and negative 28, which is equal to 0. This half reaction is now balanced. Again, at this point, it would be a good idea to recheck all atoms and net charges to make sure this half reaction is balanced. Now you'll be shown the steps required to balance a half reaction in basic solution. A final equation for basic solution must not contain any H plus ions. It will contain OH minus or hydroxide ions instead. In basic solution, you start with the same four steps as you do in an acid solution. Balance atoms other than hydrogen or oxygen, then oxygen atoms, followed by hydrogen atoms and the net charge. In the fifth step, you cancel any H plus signs present by adding the equation H plus plus OH minus gives water, or water gives H plus plus OH minus, whichever equation will cancel out H plus ions. This equation is multiplied by the coefficient of H plus in the original equation, shown as N here. Often, after adding these equations, there may be water molecules on both sides. If this is the case, water molecules are simplified by subtracting the smaller number from both sides. Steps five and six will become more clear to you after you work through the next example. In this example, you're asked to balance the half reaction in which molecular nitrogen, N2, forms hydroxyl amine, NH2OH, in basic solution. The equation is spread out to leave room for species that need to be added. You must start by balancing nitrogen atoms. This is done using coefficients. There are two nitrogen atoms on the left side and only one on the right side. You need to have two nitrogen atoms on the right side. To do that, add the coefficient 2 in front of the NH2OH. The next step is to balance oxygen atoms. On the right side, there are two oxygen atoms. You need to have two oxygen atoms on the left side. To do this, add two molecules of water. 
Now you must balance the H atoms using H+. Looking at the hydroxylamine on the right side, there are three H atoms in one molecule. There is a coefficient of 2, which means there is a total of 2 times 3, which is 6 atoms of hydrogen on the right side. On the left side, two molecules of water have four H atoms, which means you need to add two H atoms to the left side. This is done by adding two H plus ions. The left side now has a total of six H atoms equal to the six H atoms on the right. The next step is to balance the charge using electrons. The right side contains neutral molecules with a zero charge. On the left side, N2 has a charge of zero. Two H2O have a charge of zero, and two H plus have a charge of plus two. To make the plus two charges on the left equal to the zero charge on the right, you must add negative two charge on the left. This is accomplished by adding two electrons. The net charge on the left is now zero, the same as that on the right side. The equation is now balanced in acid solution, but you are asked to balance this in basic solution. There are two H plus ions on the left side. Add two times the equation water gives H plus plus OH minus to cancel out the two H pluses on the left side of the equation. The 2H pluses on the right side and the 2H pluses on the left will cancel out. You can see that adding the two equations gives N2, 2 plus 2, or 4H2O, and two electrons on the left side. On the right side, you have 2 NH2OH and 2 OH minus. The half reaction is now balanced in basic solution. If you double check, you will see there are two N atoms, eight H atoms, and four O atoms on both sides of the equation. The net charge on the left side is negative two, and on the right side is also negative two. In order to get a really good at balancing half reactions, you must do many practice questions on these. Thanks for using this Chemflix video. Watch for more great instructional videos from Chemflix.